need a heart transplant. Well, that was from my conversation with UConn teen Ethan Ellis last month. He and his mom talked with me via Skype as Ethan was waiting for a heart transplant. He was in congestive heart failure, but now the ultimate Christmas gift. Just four days before Christmas, 17 year old Ethan got a new heart. I spoke to Ethan and his mom earlier tonight. Now that their Christmas wish has come true. I finally got a heart transplant. When we last spoke, you said you were just kind of waiting. My mom got a call uh, telling us saying that it's happening and stuff and then she came and told me. Ethan's mom received the long anticipated phone call at 840 Wednesday night one week ago. The operation was to begin at 1 a.m. Definitely got scared and nervous but I, always, I wanted to do it. The Mustang High School student was in surgery for 11 grueling hours. Oh, I was terrified, of course. But we're told the operation was a success. We could not have gotten a better Christmas gift, and we don't even need presents. Hmm. We're good. <laughs> But Ethan still has a lot of healing to do. It's a little graphic to see, but he showed us what his chest looks like now, seven days after the heart transplant. So he's got this wound back on it to kind of help um, help with it right now. His chest tubes were right here. Obviously, he will be left with a scar, a memory of how far he's come, and a permanent reminder of the best Christmas present he has ever received. We are wow. certainly still rooting for Ethan as he continues to heal and recover. At this point, they don't know where the heart came from, who the donor was. They have to wait a year until they can write the donor's family a letter. Wow, a, a full year to wait for that, but boy. To give them some time to mourn. It is so good to see him doing so Absolutely. well tonight. Yeah.